courts on the NYS uh, scandal and of course the suspects who had been arraigned in court and denied bail yesterday. Earlier on our reporter Mrimi Mwange had uh, said that uh, um, the judge was supposed to or the magistrate was supposed to rule on whether all the defense lawyers will speak or the lead counsel will speak so we will be heading back there um, later on in the program to just see um, how that pretrial conference of the National Youth Service scandal is uh, currently ongoing. Remember, Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mwangi Kiunjuri is also before the Senate Committee on Agriculture, which is led by Senator Peter Ndwiga over the maize scandal. And the Cabinet Secretary, um, of course, is just trying to give his side of the story and uh, the facts, um, uh, as he says, on uh, that particular scam. Um, this is uh, over the suspected loss of a billions of shillings at the National Cereals and Produce Board. I want us to cross over there live and just listen to what the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture is telling the Senate Committee on Agriculture. And you have agreed on all these issues, including sugar. For the first time, you have agreed as a leadership, let us sit down, to, down together. Let us not look at each other as politicians, ministers, government, because we shall sort out all these problems. Because again, you look at the sugar sector, it's ailing. Why? We cannot sit down and decide on one issue for 10 years. And if you ask ourselves, because I interact a lot with members of parliament, some members of the Senate, and uh, everybody will tell you that there are answers, but all what has been happening is suspicion. We have suspected each other for a very long time. I am happy that there is now a hardship, and we shall get one with uh, Kajuang right now as, we leave. as I leave. We also have hardship. So, so that things can roll out in a, in a, in a faster, eh, in a higher speed than they are, have been happening. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, thank you very much. I think we want to thank the students for this interaction. But we, we have, as a committee, our agenda is, is, is quite hefty. Indeed, next week, Tuesday, we will be wanting to, we don't want you to come this time, not that early. But we want, we want the people responsible for cotton, yeah? Yeah, cotton development, because that's the other disaster in this country. The other disaster, CS, is coffee. On Thursday next week, uh, all, coffee, all members, we are going to be having breakfast. And we hope to interact, to look at the, the, the coffee, the task force regulations. Well, some of the things there are meant to kill coffee, not improve it. Yeah. On Thursday next week, we have a breakfast. We have invited uh, members from uh, coffee growing areas, uh, both Senate and the National Assembly at the Intercontinental Hotel. We want to look at the task force report. So then now we can engage with you on how we move forward. Yeah on improving the, the sector. We don't want to be calling you every week. Our senior parliamentary reporter, Patrick Amimo, is uh, that particular committee. Later on, he will be telling us some of the um, things that the Senate Committee of Agriculture sought to find out from the Cabinet Secretary and, of course, what he had to say. I want us to quickly head over to the Milimani Law Courts. Remember, the pre-trial -pre conference uh, of the National Youth Service scandal is currently underway there. Let's just listen to what some of the defence lawyers are telling the court currently. And you cannot hesitate to give it to us. It is your duty under Article 22 to be ensured that you start by wanting to grant us our rights. And these documents are our rights. If you look at the prosecution sitting in front of you, they have all the boxes. What do we have here? We have our diary. We are naked. Look at them. They are naked. They are well covered. They are happy. They are smiling. But we are sad because we are not ready. So they stand there and point fingers at us and we look like we're the ones who are lazy, we're the ones who are not prepared. But, but Your Honor, what, what are you going to do about it? Your Honor, you're the fruit tree. And if we cannot get the low-hanging fruits, we will throw stones. And if we miss, then sometimes we have to hit you. <laughs> Because those fruits are up there. So when we are saying this, Your Honor, it's not because it is personal. It is not because we want to say anything that is bad. But we are saying, you are not doing enough for us.
the prosecution will stand, and I'm sure they want to tell you that they can be able to provide documents even as the trial goes on. And the usual thing they say is that you'll be able to cross-examine and you'll be given time to look at these documents. That is not what this provision says. That is not what is supposed to go on. <coughs> at the pre-trial stage, they are supposed to have stopped and given us everything, and I repeat, everything that they are going to use in this case. So that, what does it prevent? <coughs> in case there are any loopholes, they can't rush and create any other evidence, they can't create other statements, they can't create other witnesses. Again, protect us, because that is what you can do at this particular moment. And we'll keep on throwing the stones. You're making Article 50, sub Article 2E. Say that this person shall have his trial to go on without any unreasonable delay. We are not being unreasonable. The, 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 the delay is not being caused by us. We are only complaining. The delay is coming from what we choose to call them friends. I, I don't know what to call them. <laughs> One of the defense lawyers for the NYS suspects, uh, Cliff Ombetta, arguing out their case in court in that pretrial conference that is currently underway. Uh, we will be getting back there shortly to just uh, take a look at the live proceedings there. But for now, I want us to close it for our viewers on KTN Home. We continue on KTN News. A lot